All right, what is good everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am the Oracle here with another Zodiac reading for the sign of Taurus. All right, Taurus, we're going to start by pulling some tarot and then we'll clarify. Before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back. So if you just came to talk shit, throw shade, I just return to sending off this channel. All right, Taurus. <laughs> okay. We have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. So we have Six of Wands, Queen of Swords in Reverse, Four of Swords, Page of Wands, King of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. Hey, I'm not sure what this Queen of Swords right here is. This talks about okay. I, I was the Spirit's trying to. Okay, Taurus, I'm getting, okay, so, oh, I'm getting this, like, push-pull energy of you want to move forward, someone's telling you no, that person's a liar, but the truth is this person is honest. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. When I was thinking about this one, I was like, well, what does this mean? It kind of threw me off, and then the Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords came up right. So this person could be very, oh, there's, okay, so, all right, Taurus. First of all, let's start by right here where they're saying, okay, Taurus, you or someone you're dealing with is thinking, okay, I can have victory in this situation with the Six of Wands. Somebody's coming in. I'm, it could be this King of Wands. It doesn't have to be, um, I'm getting this person's like, no, you're not, you're, you're, you're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself. Or if somebody's telling you that you're going to be successful with this person, they're lying to you. Don't act impulsively. Take your time. You know, this, what they're lying about is they're saying this person's a liar. You know, this, they're not, I heard honorable. Um, Spirit wants whoever this is for, Taurus, whether it's you or Cross Watcher. This person is divinely guided. Like, I'm almost getting here. I, I got lazy too. This person's lazy. They don't. Mm -mm. This person works hard. They could work hard, but at the same time, having to maybe take care of little kids. You know, I don't know if you know what it's like taking care of... I, I have to babysit my grandkid. And, you know, she's only a year old. So, a lot of... A lot of... It, it, it is a, a full-time job taking care of kids. And to do have to take care of kids and while you're working from home doing other things, it's not always as easy um so i do i do watch my granddaughter um so whoever this this is for you know they could be they could be saying that oh they're lazy but what the cards were saying is that this person has you know maybe this person has children that they have to take care of we have the chariot i heard um that's why i have to walk and I, that's why i have to walk and not run yeah I can't run. This person has um, maybe a lot of people like, you know, demanding their time, attention, their energy, whatever that is. This person just like, this person could have been um, maybe resting a lot more than usual. They're trying to 
uh, they're trying to recover and, and rest up because things are going to move fast. They're going to move fast. What's the King of Wands? This King of Wands is nervous. Oh, this King of Wands, this person doesn't want, okay. Whoever is lying is lying because they know that once this person is free to kind of focus on themselves and not having to give to other people. We have the Six of Pentacles twice here. I'm getting a lot of, um, this is, e this is supposed to be equal give and take, but in this energy here, in this situation, I'm getting this imbalance where this person gives, gives, gives to others, but they don't, they're, they're not helping. They give the bare minimum to this person that they demand so much from. And then while they go off and have fun and, you know, live it up and they're making their money, but they're holding this person back and this person's like, you know, no more. And these people are starting to get worried. This person, even under, um, whoever this King of Wands is, could be lying, saying, oh, you're not going to have victory because they're worried that someone else is going to give to this person. They don't want that. They want this person to be sad and stuck and unable, like taking breadcrumbs. So this is someone who like, um, yeah, maybe I won't say that, but yeah, people take advantage of, of this person cause they don't, they don't want this person to get ahead. So whatever they're saying, whatever they're lying is just because they don't want this, again, they don't want this person, this, uh, this energy is frustrating me guys. I'm not going to lie. This king of wands could be a feminine energy. This person could have a kid that they're trying to use that kid to get in between um, this person fulfilling whatever they need to. This person could be getting in the way of someone feeling free and just focusing on their work. They're like, no, you can't work. You have to take care of this kid kind of thing. Oh, this is making sense, guys. That's come. Ooh, that is coming to an end. That is coming to an end. No more. This person's like, you know what? I'm going to focus on myself. You're going to have to figure out something else to do. Yeah, that might be a harsh reality, but you know what? Your burdens are not my burdens anymore. I'm moving away from that. I have my own shit. I have to... Um, my own dreams I have to chase after. Fuck out of here. Ew, man, this person's like, this person's putting their foot down. Because there has been some people getting in the way of them actually doing the things that they that makes them feel good. Things that are going to bring them um, abundance. This, this person didn't want that. They saw that coming and they wanted it to... They wanted it. They wanted to stop that. But um, yeah, it's this tower could be for this King of Wands. Is um, again, I'm getting a feminine energy with this King of Wands. This person thinks that they they're strong and they have a very. This person is uh, very um, uh, arrogant and deceptive, manipulative. This person is a fucking narcissist. I hate this energy. Whoever this person is can fucking eat shit. Seriously. And they're going to be eating shit, to be honest. Because once this person walks away, they're like, you know what? I know we're family and I love you and I love the babies. But I'm I'm moving on. I'm not fucking letting you hold on to me and giving me the bare minimum and making me suffer and making me struggle. All because you... Mm -mm. I hate this energy, man. I fucking hate this energy. I want to get out of it. Ugh. This person, I don't know, like, I don't know. Okay. Moving on. All right, Taurus. Let's see. Spirit, oh, shit. So, Spirit says for Taurus, if this is, if this is you or I don't know where you fall, you'll know. Um, Spirit's saying that if you think that someone you have like this could be a, a situation where maybe you and your partner have a baby and this person thinks that this baby is going to keep you trapped you're not going to walk away 
But what they don't see coming is that you are going to walk away. You're going to take a chance and move on. And they don't see it coming. They think everything's good. We're a family. They love the baby. They would never leave the baby. And it's not, bitch, they're not leaving the baby. They're leaving you, ho. Because you try to stagnate someone. You wanted, mm, you wanted them lazy with their head in the clouds. You thought that you could keep them um, trapped again with a baby. Oh, they're going to be so, you know, I don't know. This is, this is getting, this is a baby trap. So this person, whoever's trying to keep you stuck with the baby, doesn't see that. It could be somebody that you're living with, somebody that you put up boundaries to. They're going to be very sad when you when you move away from them. They don't see it coming. They think you're always going to be there. Oh, they're going to get the clarity soon that you're going to move away. You're moving away. You're like, fuck this. I've been on this rodeo, on this hamster wheel. This isn't my first rodeo with this person. I've been on this hamster wheel, repeated mistakes. This person just wants to fucking hold on to me to keep me from um, working on myself, focusing on my own career, because they understand, they know that if you were to um, focus on yourself, you're gonna find love and move away from them, and they don't want that. They don't want that. So what do they do? They try to keep you stuck with a baby. Damn. Focus on your work. Aries, you're going to find love. You're going to grow love. You're going to grow abundance and you're going to grow love. Did I say Aries? Taurus. I just finished recording Aries, so that's probably why. But maybe you could be an Aries. Um, your focus, find balance in your own work and your own craft, your own uh, finances, and watch how that grows. Put the effort into yourself and say, fuck everybody. And if they... If their burdens create burdens for you, it you have to cut that out. That's you're you're gonna grow a lot of financial abundance and you're gonna find love. It could be from um, you could be studying something new with the page of swords here. Maybe you're going back to school. Somebody wants to end your new beginning they want to keep you in this energy of lack struggle heartache bound keeping you bound keeping you juggling they want to end it for you whatever you're creating that's why it's important for you to say if the, if your fucking bullshit if your burdens are in, infringing on me and my what i'm trying to create then i have to cut you out this is no longer my problem that's what you're gonna have to say taurus to this person because this person wants to end your forward movement. So you're going to have to end any connection to them. Final message for Taurus. It, this is something that you could have been struggling with putting up boundaries to these people. But that's what's been keeping you from moving forward. But you're getting the clarity. You're starting to, um, to become more strong within yourself to let this go. You're like, you know what? I know. This is just keeping me stuck. I want to feel free. So my choice, if I want to get rid of this headache, is to move on. Even if it makes me sad. Even if it makes me sad to move forward, I have to do it. That's the only way I'm going to feel free. That's the only way I'm going to get out of this energy. Is by starting something new. And calling judgment on this person by moving away from their fucking whack ass. I'm getting, I'm getting um, a feminine energy trying to keep somebody stagnant with the child. Well, you, you, you know. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> I hate this energy. Oh, this person's going to pay. What's going to happen to the person that you walk away from? Yeah. While you're finding balance within yourself and your own career, they're, maybe they're, maybe they could be losing their job. When you move move away, this person's not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what to do. It's going to be very, it's going to be hard for them to even grow any finances. To grow their finances. 
All because, yeah, all because they wanted to stagnate you, man. So their money's gonna suffer. They might have a hard time finding work. Um, their relationships aren't gonna be that great either. All because they try to stop you. It's a lot. I don't know if I like that. Moving forward, um, it's gonna cause them a lot of um, stress. Oh, they're in it. I'm getting like seeing you move forward and seeing you stand in your authority and your strength, becoming the star, feeling free. Um, is really going to cause them a lot of grief. It's going to cause them a lot of grief because they're like, fuck, man. Without you, they don't know what to do. They want to keep you so they can continue to just be on their bullshit. But once you're gone, they just, they don't know what to do with themselves. But when they have you, they treat you like shit. Now this person's going to eat shit. Taurus. All right. So this person can eat shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll title this. You're creating your reality to become happy, to become balanced. You don't want all the extra bullshit. You're going after the things that make you happy, that you're passionate about. And anyone else, anyone who tries to get in your way, anyone who um, tries to stop you is going to probably... Um, Get their head taken off. <laughs> it's like, I might be about love and light, you know. <laughs> I, I might be about love and light. But I'll fucking take your motherfucking head off. <laughs> if I have to, that's what this person is saying. Or that's what Taurus, you're saying to someone, you know. Approach with caution if you're trying, if you're, um... I'm hearing, uh, if you're a nemesis, uh, stay away from these premises. That shit will be fatal. All right, uh, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings. All right, Taurus, we'll see you next time.